With growth comes more crime. That's what our neighbors down in Kyle are grappling with. They say it's still a relatively low crime community and decision makers there want to keep it that way. And they're adding more eyes to help achieve that goal. Our Sam Stark talks to Kyle's chief of police about the new surveillance cameras going in. With the growth, we're finding there's a little more activity. This is Julie Snyder, the CEO of Kyle's Chamber of Commerce. While she says growth is good for business, it brings with it some concern. Yeah, I think the overall growth and being right off of I-35, we're seeing an increase a little bit. That's why she says she supports the Kyle Police Department implementing crime prevention strategies to help protect businesses. Yeah, if we have those tools in place now, I think it can help prevent that criminal activity. The Kyle City Council uh, approved 16, a prevention strategy yeah, last motion, week. Right, motion carries six to one. A move that releases funds for 20 new automated license plate readers and 12 live view cameras. It can uh, certainly help us do a better job, more efficient, more effective without having to hire more officers. Kyle Chief of Police Jeff Barnett says the cameras will be placed in high traffic zones to help track down suspects, find missing persons, and help in other emergency scenarios. We're not using them for speed control or speed measurement uh, opportunities. We're using these to, to help solve crimes. And when we say crimes, we're talking about your more serious types of crimes. He says data the cameras collect is only stored for 30 days before being deleted unless it's tied to an investigation. Officers also are only able to access the data for law enforcement purposes. I think once we're able to share that information with the public, they get a better picture of how well their information is protected, how well uh, we are grounded in our procedures to make sure there's no abuse. In Kyle, Sam Stark, KXAN News. And Kyle already has 15 license plate readers it installed last year. The chief tells us he expects the new devices to be installed within the next 10 months.